Hi all, today we are going to discuss about the detailed inventory valuation report made by Loyalty Solutions. So first of all, let's go to the inventory module. From the, uh, let's go to the reporting part. In the reporting part, we have a menu named as inventory valuation report. So just click on it. After that, you will be getting a wizard in which you can filter the valuation report based on the warehouses or based on the company if it's a multi-company scenario and based on the location and you can also choose the start period and the end period and if you need a particular only for a if you need a set of only if you need only a particular product you can add the product from here okay now i am just choosing the, my one of the warehouses and i am just choosing my company as mobile world and i am not just choosing the location i am going to filter it based on the product and i am choosing my starting period from 19th to 21st okay I am not adding any particular products here. If needed, I can add it there from here. Okay, now I am just going to print the Excel. Okay, I am going to download it. Okay, so when we do download, we will be able to get a detailed report which includes the item code and the product name and which category they are in and their unit of measure and which is their costing method and all those details related to that product which we need will be updated on this excel sheet and which is the start date and which is the end date all details will be displayed here okay so these are the columns so on the on this column opening stock you will be able to know the opening stock of that particular product on that particular start date period and its corresponding value will be known on the next column okay on the column named internal you will be able to see the quantities which we have transferred from our warehouses that means our internal transfers so our internal transfers will be displayed on this particular column named as internal and its corresponding value will, value will be displayed on the column next to it that is internal value for example here the particular product let's consider this product is a one smartphone this particular product which comes under the category all its unit of measure is unit and its costing method is standard price here the cost of that particular product is 17,000 now as they are on the 19th the opening stock is zero it, the product must have created on that particular date ok so hence the opening value is zero now when we check the in this column its internal it is shown that in this from this warehouse a hundred units of this particular product have been moved to the have been moved to the another location so the value of the internal transfer is the particular value which is displayed here okay on the next two columns that is received quantities and the received value in this column the orders the product quantities which you have purchased will be displayed under this column that means 1500 units of smartphone have been purchased okay and its corresponding value is shown here okay next column is the issued quantity and the issued value in the issued quantity, all the sale orders, all the product which you have sold under this particular period will be displayed on this issued quantity. Not only the products which you have displayed, uh, sorry, which we have sold will be displayed here. The product or the components which you have used for the manufacturing also will be shown on the issued quantity column. And its corresponding value will be shown on the next column. Here you can see that here display battery are the components of this particular product is a1 plus smartphone so as you can see that these two products the 5 and 3 they are the issued quantities which have been issued for the manufacturing order they have been consumed for the manufacturing order as a raw material okay next two column is the manufacturing quantity and its corresponding value here the component our smartphone 100 units of manufacture 100 units of smartphone have been manufactured it's shown in the manufacturing quantity and its corresponding value is shown here okay next is the consumed component quantities and the consumed component value here as you can see for the display and battery 100 components have been consumed and its corresponding value has been updated on the next column that is consumed components value okay now there are there's one more scenario where we may unbuild the manufacturing order so unbuilt orders also will be displayed on this particular inventory valuation report if uh, here i have unbuilt the 50 quantities of smartphone 
which we, our product and its corresponding value is updated here okay next is the unbuilt components quantity here i have un unbuilt 50 components or consumed the unbuilt the components 50 components so it's displayed here and its corresponding components values displayed on the next column and the total mos is shown here and the total consumed components also is shown here okay next is the adjustment and its adjustment values if you had made any inventory adjustments on the uh, inventory adjustments it will be displayed here here i have adjusted 50 on the our smartphone and its corresponding value is shown here on the next column we can see the closing stock and the closing value here the final stock on that particular end date is 1000 and its corresponding value is shown here okay 